You've probably heard it in the news this week. The Yik Yak app is back. I'm Beth from the smartsocial.com team, and we're here to tell you today about what the Yik Yak app is, where Yik Yak is available and who can use it, the dangers of Yik Yak that we've seen from past examples of the news, what Yik Yak says is not allowed, and how they monitor their services. We'll help you answer the question for yourself, is Yik Yak safe for students? And we'll give you some of our safety tips for parents and students to be safer online. So what does Yik Yak marketing say? They say anonymously connect with everyone within five miles. When they announced that they were coming back on Twitter, their announcement said, after a four-year hiatus, Yik Yak is available in the App Store again. Anonymous, location-based, the hot feed, and more. Everything you used to love about Yik Yak. And they say, now available on iPhone in the U.S., more countries and devices coming soon. We'll talk about that more in just... So what is the Yik Yak app? Yik Yak is a messaging board app that allows users to see messages from other users who are within a five mile radius of their location. You can also see some of the top local and nationwide yaks. Users must allow the app to use their device's location when they download the app for the first time. And after downloading the app, users enter a phone number, Yik Yak says, to verify your humanity. After they enter their phone number, it sends them a text message to that number for verification. A post on Yik Yak is known as a yak and it's visible to a herd. The herd is anyone within a five mile radius of the user. Yik Yak reminds users that yaks are anonymous, so speak your mind. But remember to review our community guardrails and always be kind. Here on the right side is an example of what a yak looks like. This user posted, is a hippopotamus really a hippopotamus or is it a cool opotamus? Other people have responded with just some emojis. One person said, why not both? And somebody else said, don't be ridiculous. This is a serious conversation here. Okay, that really isn't a serious conversation and many of the conversations on Yik Yak aren't serious, but there are some that are very serious and very dangerous. On Yik Yak, users earn a Yak Karma score, which is based on points from other users up or down votes on their Yaks and comments. All users start with 100 points, and the Yak Karma score is not visible to others unless the user chooses to share it via text, email, or another social media account on their device. So where is it available and who can use it? As we said in the beginning, Yik Yak is currently available only on the Apple App Store, though we did see it on Google Play briefly this week, and Yik Yak says it will be available on other devices soon. So parents, if your students are on Android devices, pay attention because it's likely coming to those devices very soon as well. Yik Yak's user policy says users agree that they are at least 13 years old when they sign in. So what's so dangerous about Yik Yak? Let's look at some of the Yik Yak dangers that we've seen in the news. Example number one, why it was shut down. The Washington Post headline said Yik Yak might not encourage racism and threats, but it certainly enables them. In the article, they wrote, the founders hadn't anticipated the intense online bullying on Yik Yak at high schools. They hadn't expected that flippant comments about sexual violence and other danger would be directed at women so often that a group of 72 feminist organizations would file a Title IX civil rights complaint. That article went on and on with so many examples of how posts from users on Yik Yak in the past led to dangers in their community. Example number two, why Yik Yak was shut down. From the Daily News, the headline said, two arrested for making threats to University of Missouri students on Yik Yaks as fears of violence spread through the Columbia campus. The article said several threats on the anonymous messaging app Yik Yak spiked fears across the university, already on edge over lingering racial tension. The vile posts fueled fears of violence and backlash. One more example of why it was shut down. From WGRZ, NBC2, and Buffalo, New York, their online article headline said, Yik Yak app leads to trouble for some students. Parents, that's why we're here to show you how this has led to trouble specifically for students like yours. Their reporting said a 15-year-old high school student was arrested after police say he posted that the, quote, school would explode. He was charged with juvenile delinquency. So all of these examples are serious and they show how posting something that's supposedly anonymous and authentic can really lead to real world consequences. So has Yik Yak changed in 2021? In our research, we found that Yik Yak is heavily promoting the community guardrails to users so that they are specific about what is and what is not allowed on the app. 
Yik Yak says, we're committed to combating bullying on our platform by any means necessary. If someone bullies another person, makes a threat, or in any way seriously violates our community guardrails or terms of service, they can be immediately banned from Yik Yak. One strike and you're out. But we wonder, is that really enough? They also say, Yik Yak is where communities are free to be authentic, equal, and empowered to connect with people nearby. You are responsible for your yaks and their consequences and your interactions with other yakers. We encourage you to be cautious about your interactions. So while they have these community guardrails, users are responsible for their own actions. Yaks are monitored based on other users downvoting the messages and reporting it. Yaks that receive five downvotes are automatically removed from Yik Yak. So is Yik Yak safe for your student? Encouraging teens to be authentic or anonymous often encourages them to say or do things that they would not normally do or say, which can be dangerous to themselves and others in extreme situations. Since upholding the guidelines is dependent on other users downvoting content, users could very likely see messages that contain topics that are not allowed in the community guidelines on Yik Yak before they're actually removed. Even though users are anonymous and the community guardrails prohibit sharing specific personal or location information, it could be tempting and easy for vulnerable users to share identifiable information. From our research about all the social media apps out there, we know that predators know how to groom victims and to put the small pieces of information together over time to make their victims vulnerable to what they want or to find them. This isn't just about Yik Yak, but really any social media that allows strangers to interact. Even though Although their Yak Karma score is not public unless the user shares it. A score like that encourages frequently participating or trying to get votes and that can be harmful to a user's mental health. So how can users stay safe online? First of all, this app is in the smartsocial.com red zone, and we recommend that students are not on this app. As a reminder, our red zone apps are rated that way because they often allow students to talk with strangers, they often encourage users to act anonymously, and they very often promote bullying, anxiety, and depression in the way that the apps work. Parents and educators can help students look for social media opportunities in our green and gray zones of the popular app list for alternatives to being social and safe online. You can always find that popular apps list at smartsocial.com and at the very top right click on the popular apps list. We all need to remember that nothing online is ever completely anonymous or disappearing and that posting threats of violence is a legal offense in most states. Help students set and enforce their own screen time limits to combat the urge to frequently check in on posts or to make posts just for that temptation of improving what really is a meaningless yak karma score. So in summary, Yik Yak is a message board that encourages users to be authentic because the app says they are anonymous. Yik Yak was discontinued for very specific safety reasons in the past, and despite their community guidelines that they promote, we see that the same dangers are possible in the 2021 version that just came out. Students, if you're watching or listening to this video, if you want to shine online, send your parents to smartsocial.com to learn more about getting you ready for your future college or career or internship with a brand new online brand just for you. Parents and educators, join our free newsletter to get more of content like this each week. You can subscribe at smartsocial.com slash newsletter. And as always, don't forget to rate, subscribe, review, and share this podcast, video, or blog post with any of your friends or coworkers who work with students. Thanks for helping keep my family and yours safer online.